Jamie uh, is a young person who uh, found himself in conflict with the law uh, after an incident occurred uh, between um, him and a social worker. He was trying to get me away from the door, and that's where I got my bruises on my arms, um, and because he kept pushing me against the, uh, the filing cabinet. When I got to the office, um, I was just shaking. I didn't realize how much bruising there was and everything. And um, and it was at that point my, my supervisor said, well, you know you're going to have to charge him. The Crown uh, attorney felt that the uh, young person would benefit from a Healing to Wellness Court program. In Jamie's particular case, uh, he had a lot of supports, uh, and he personally felt that uh, he was at risk of losing those uh, supports if he didn't um, acknowledge the harm that was caused. And restorative justice was felt to be the most appropriate way to amend those relationships, to offer Jamie the opportunity to discuss how uh, he felt and perhaps why he behaved the way he did. It was the most culturally appropriate and culturally sound way to deal with this justice matter. The first time I met him, we're talking about a youth that had struggles in his life and, and going through so much, and um, he was pretty angry. And I do an assessment with them so that I understand more about what it is that they need. And then I make the call on who will be a part of that circle. Restorative justice offers the community the ability to give input and to uh, reshape relationships and provides um, a space to do that where there is equality amongst all of the participants. Jamie was a little nervous, I guess, because I think this was like being able to confront the person that he had done harm with. Because it was a person that he knew very well. I'm going to do the first round. and the first round, we're just going to say our name, what it is that we're here for, what we do, and pass the feather around. So I'm going to start. My name is Yolanda. I was being put into a different foster home, which I did not like. It wasn't really my decision, really. I either had to go there or that's pretty much my only choice. I guess my foster mom at the time needed a break from me, and I didn't really like that. So I was saying stuff like what I felt and what things that I was going through and apologizing, you know? I said, I'm just sorry, and then it won't happen again and that I am got better, that I'm the, I'm the new Jamie. When he apologized, it was a welcome surprise for me to hear it, yeah. But me and his foster mom started crying at that point because he's, she's never heard it too, so it was, it was really good to hear from him. I was glad I was able to tell him that I, I loved and cared about him and that I was hoping that uh, we would be able to repair our relationship again and start working on goals for him, not just for me, but goals for a better future for him. I think it's important that we, uh, we stand behind Jamie and listen to him uh, and continue to have open ears to how he's feeling um, and what he feels he needs to do to move forward. It's so the healing he's going through now, so to be an adult and continue to, you know, get ready for his next step of life. He liked building. He wanted to know how to make a drum, and that was one of the recommendations that was put in place. 
how do you feel about um, what he has shared with us today? I accept his apology. Mm. He spoke of his difficulties in changing some of his behavior. I was able to see him in a different light and look at him uh, at what he was going through because he never told me before. It was a, it was a good healing process. Yeah, it ended up including the foster parent too, so, which is good. I felt that it was very necessary for me to be in that circle because I knew that after everything was said and done that I've got a second chance and that I could keep going. When um, we're able to go around in circle and and hug each other or you know shake hands and and whatnot, then you know that everybody's feeling good leaving here, and that for them to be able to make amends like that, to me, that's already progress. To open up that communication, to open up that understanding, to open up that relationship again, I think that was. I couldn't ask for anything more.